Hey everybody, the coronavirus is in the news. It's that virus emanating out of Hunan, China that has everybody freaking out. What is the coronavirus? Where does it come from? How do you get it? How dangerous is it? And how do you prevent it? Well, let's have a short conversation about that. To date, in Hunan, it has killed 56 and sickened another 1,975 people. There have been two reported cases in the United States so far, one in Chicago and the other in Seattle. Canada just reported its first case. There have been four reported in Australia and four in Malaysia, three in Japan, and France has also confirmed three cases. Now, I'm not sure about each and every case, but the two in the United States would appear to be in people who travel to Hunan to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Just what is the coronavirus? Do you need to be worried about it? Well, chances are 100% that you have been infected with the coronavirus many times in your lifetime. Infected at least with a coronavirus. Where does that name come from anyway? Well, the virus, when you look at it under an electron microscope, appears to have a corona or crown. I tried to find an accurate stock photo image of it, but none of my sources actually had an accurate image. Oh well. Up until December, I was able to answer my patient's question about what virus was causing the respiratory illness by saying it was probably one of the six human coronaviruses. Now I have to say it's probably one of the seven. I worked today and it was busy, busy, busy. Probably 75% of the patients I saw were diagnosed with an upper respiratory illness, probably caused by a coronavirus. The coronaviruses are a group of viruses in the same family that are responsible for the common cold. They're often responsible for people who are diagnosed with bronchitis. And there are also more notorious members of the family, including the coronaviruses that cause SARS and MERS. Now, if you remember, SARS is the severe acute respiratory syndrome that first reared its ugly head around 2003, and MERS is a more recent phenomenon, and it is the Middle East respiratory syndrome that popped up around 2012. What's the worst that can happen if you do catch the newer strain, the 2019 NCOV? That label, by the way, indicates that it was discovered in 2019 and is the 2019 novel coronavirus. Well, the worst thing that could happen is you die. The symptoms of this are fever, cough, and difficulty breathing. So why is it killing some people and not killing others? Well, for the same reason the flu makes some people feel like hammered crap for a week, but it kills others. Some people are simply less able to fight off infection. Some of these people would include the very young, the very old, people with a history of immune suppression, a uh, history of respiratory disease, and people who smoke among others. How do you treat it? Well, you treat it like mom did. You get plenty of rest, you stop smoking if you do, you drink plenty of fluids, take your Advil, Tylenol, and anything else over the counter that makes you feel better. How about an antibiotic? No, absolutely not. That is a subject for a whole other video, but simply understand that antibiotics fight bacterial infections and not viral infections, period. In the sentence, don't even think about it. So how likely are you to become infected with this new strain? I'm not an epidemiologist, but it appears that your chances at the present time are pretty slim. The Chinese are essentially quarantining Hunan, finally. The cases in the other countries are being isolated and it's being tracked very carefully. Could there still be a widespread outbreak? Anything's possible. So how do you keep from getting it or any of the other coronaviruses? Well, you do it with good habits. You wash your hands or you use hand sanitizer. I probably used hand, hand sanitizer 70 times today. I think the fumes got to me. 
stay away from sick people if you can. Um, fortunately or fortunately, I can't stay away from sick people. It's my job. If you have to be around someone with an upper respiratory illness, make sure they cover up when they cough or sneeze. Get your flu shot. By the way, how effective is the flu shot and does it give you the flu? Once again, that's a great topic for another video, but in the meantime, get the flu shot. It takes about two weeks to become effective and it will not give you the flu. Quit smoking. There are a hundred reasons or more to not smoke and this is one of them. I know how hard it is. I smoked up to two and a half packs a day for 29 years. I quit smoking 20 years ago. How and why? Another video. That's it for this video though. If it was helpful and if you liked it, hit the like button. Sub if you're not subbed and hit the bell if you'd like to be notified of future releases. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. If there's something specific you'd like me to talk about, let me know. It would be fantastic if you would share this video. See you. Thanks for watching.